Hello everyone, welcome back to Major Hi-Fi, I'm Luke. Today we're going to be looking at a headphone from our neighbors in Brooklyn, Grado. This is the SR80X. So the SR80X was Grado's first headphone originally. They started making it in 1991, I believe, and they were actually founded as a phono cartridge company in 1953, so they've been around for quite a while. All of their headphones are handmade in Brooklyn, they're a local company, and they generally are very, very well liked, and the SR80X is their most popular model. It's been around, obviously, for quite a while, and it's pretty much always had a really great reputation. They, of course, have upgraded it numerous times since its original release, and most recently they've added a new, more plush headband and a newer cable. So we're going to talk about those upgrades and also what makes these headphones so great, or are they actually so great? Do they live up to the hype? These run for $129, so definitely a good price if you're on a moderate budget. And let's open the box and see what's inside. So for this one we just get the headphones. I believe you can order these with the case. The ones that we have do not have the case. So it's just the headphones, nothing else in the box. But let's just talk about what these look like and how these feel. So these have a nice kind of vintage, subtly industrial look to them. It's fairly minimalistic, all black. Doesn't make a loud statement, but I think they are pretty stylish and definitely a look that a lot of people will latch onto. They're pretty low profile and lightweight, super easy to wear and super comfortable. They have an adjustable fit here on the ears that we can pull or push in and out. And then this is the new cable, which is a four conductor cable and is meant to improve audio signal. I like the new cable. It's definitely a nicer one than the sort of more rubbery, stiff cable in the other version, the older version, but I will say it definitely does take a minute to kind of get the kinks out of it. Um, you know, these are a new pair, but I will say that I'm having a little bit of trouble getting this wire under control. I'm sure that over time it will, you know, chill out and kind of turn into a much more manageable cable, but it's a little bit stiff. You know, as you can see when I'm wearing them, it's kind of going up around my head a little bit. Not a huge deal. You know, I wouldn't mind it being a bit maybe more malleable, but like I said, I feel like that should probably solve itself over time. We also have the 3.5 millimeter to quarter inch connector on the end, which is nice to include. And then there is the addition of the more plush headband. So as you can see, this is much softer here. Previously, it was just this harder plastic area without the added cushioning. So I think that's a good addition. And then we have these nice foam ear pads, which are very comfortable. My only criticism is that they definitely do attract lint and hair. Um, if you have pets, good luck. <laughs> Maybe just keep a lint roller around or something. You know, they're definitely easy to replace if you wanted to, they come right off. And I mean, the comfort is worth, I guess, a little bit of hassle with the cleaning and whatnot. And of course, this is part of probably what makes them able to sell these for such an affordable price. So like I said, these are all handmade in Brooklyn, very local company. They call these open air headphones, so basically, you know, open back. And these feature the fourth generation of Grotto's X-Series dynamic drivers, um, which were specifically tuned for the SR80X. And then, like I said, these have a four conductor audio cable in the new and improved version. We get an impedance of 38 ohms and a frequency response of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So these are open back headphones and they do have a pretty substantially wide sound stage. They are on ear headphones, which gives us a little bit less opportunity to fully get as much width as we might with an over ear headphone, of course. But for an on ear headphone, these have a lot of cinematic immersion to them and a good sense of space. They definitely give a nice, airy, opened up quality to music. I would say the soundstage on this is pretty standard with a slight advantage. I listened to the song Under the Sun by this artist, High as a Kite, one word. And I use this song because it has these incredibly huge vocal stacks and all these different elements that are being built in a very sort of theatrical, huge way. And so it's a good challenge for any headphone soundstage. So the SR80X definitely allowed this song to travel the full length and width of its composition. Did it add any extra dimension? Maybe a little bit, but definitely not a substantial amount of widening up. 
but enough to make sure that you get a little bit of extra airiness and kind of feathering out of the vocal stacks and that the strings have their own space to perform in. These are definitely pretty good at instrument separation and you can really pick out the elements individually. I felt a very balanced image with these huge timpani drums sort of pounding underneath the already all engulfing composition of this song. It was able to handle the sort of constant growth that this track threw at it really well. And I also noticed that the strings in this song, which are very important, but do sit further back in the mix, were never quite lost. So even though they were more of a background element, I was always able to pick them out despite the fact that they were more taking like, you know, the underneath side of the song, but they never got buried. And that was a very good um, aspect of the listen for me. Hey guys, Luke here. Just wanted to pop in and say that if you're enjoying this video, it would be really great if you could leave us a like and subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when we release new content. And if you have anything else you want to discuss, feel free to head over to the Major Hi-Fi Forum. All right, let's get back to the review. So for the high end, the SR80X are really comfortable and warm in this area. They're notably bright, but they avoid any harshness with just how silky smooth they are. The detail and accuracy we see in this high end definitely helps add to their overall really, really crisp, extremely defined sound. That's where these excel for me. While they do have a lot of definition in the high end, I wouldn't call them snappy, which adds to the more liquid quality of the sort of treble area. So if you like that very clean, modern high end sound, with maybe a bit of added sort of vintage warmth and subtle coloration, then the SR80X really hits the nail on the head with this point. So for the mid-range, these have a very crisp extended mid-range. I would say that it has a sharper, more saturated quality to it. At higher volumes, if you're very mid-sensitive, you may find it a bit harsh maybe at times or a bit resonant, but most listeners will find that it's very defined forward and has a nice pointed coloring to it. I listened to the song Go Away by Strawberry Switchblade, which is a quintessential 80s sound, and it has that thinner kind of early electronic timbre that a lot of 80s pop songs do. And the SR80X did a good job of really giving some more body to this song because it does need that. A lot of 80s songs need some body and a little bit of added warmth to them. Once again, the vocals were carried really well without being buried because this song has these really huge strings and keys in it, which definitely were extra defined because of the mid-range and the sort of extended feel to it that the SR80X has. But it did this, you know, extra definition without burying the vocals and I really appreciated that. So overall the mid-range on these is definitely kind of a big selling point. That means that for some people it's not going to hit the spot because it is very specific but as I mentioned these are very popular and it is a really high quality mid-range especially for what you're paying so I think that for most people it'll be great. I just wanted to make the distinction that if you are very mid-sensitive it does have a little bit of sharpness to it. All right so for low end these are definitely not heavy on the sub as I expected but they are very percussive. I found the best part of the low end on these was just their tightness and really like their clarity and purity to them. They felt very clean and well handled. They have a really great dynamic feel that just gets that nice pop on certain sounds. It's really satisfying to the ears. I listened to the song Natural by Sabrina Claudio. So this has a nice R&B, um, you know, really fast attack drum sound to it with a really sort of subtle but present bass in the middle. and. I just found that the SR80X gave me the parts that were essential, so it wasn't really boosting those basement frequencies, but it never felt empty or hollow. It gave the drums and just the low end in general enough oomph to really punch through the mix without, you know, totally dominating it. So while it is a very controlled low end response and maybe a little bit on the subdued side, it doesn't feel incomplete, and as long as it feels satisfying and full, then that's a check from me. But yeah, if you want like super intense bass, these are not gonna give you that, but they do do a good job handling the low end. So my overall thoughts on the SR80X is that it definitely does earn its historically positive reputation for the price you're paying. These do sound a lot more expensive and they just feel really well built and like they have a really pleasing sound that is right up a lot of people's alleys. It is a more signature sound. I could recognize these headphones blindfolded, so it's not going to be for 100% of people because it is making a more individualistic point, but obviously it has been for a lot of people, and I think that the majority of listeners will be 
pretty pleased by what these have to offer sonically. So if you're looking for an uh, over-ear headphone in the $100 to $200 range and you want some nice sort of subtle saturation and extended mid-range with an overall really tight snappy sound and a ton of crispness, these are like the crispiest headphone ever. They're a nice and sizzling, really fun listen and I've definitely recommended them to many people in the past. So those are my thoughts on the SR80X. If you have any other questions that I didn't answer in this video, please feel free to leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you can get notified when we upload a new video. I will be back very soon with some more reviews. If you have anything that you would like to see on this channel, just leave it in the comments. And until next time, happy listening.